I wanted to be. Uh, she didn't laugh about the ambition <clears throat> to write stories. Stephen King is a prolific American author of horror, supernatural fiction, suspense, and fantasy novels. King has published 61 novels and six nonfiction books. Many of them have been turned into popular films or miniseries. King has received Bram Stoker Awards, World Fantasy Awards, and British Fantasy Society Awards. In 2003, the National Book Foundation awarded him the Medal for Distinguished Contribution to American Letters. He's also received awards for his contribution to literature for his entire bibliographies, such as the 2004 World Fantasy Award for Life Achievement and the 2007 Grand Master Award from the Mystery Writers of America. In 2015, he was awarded a National Medal of Arts from the U.S. National Endowment for the Arts for his contributions to literature. Finish something and go right back into it to either say, this is terrible, or what's even worse, to say, my, I really wrote a good job. If you enjoy these videos, please remember to hit the like button as it does help us out a lot. And comment below who your favorite celebrity is that you'd love to see in an upcoming video. His full name is Stephen Edwin King, but is also known as Richard Bachman, John Swithin, Beryl Evans. He was born September 21st, 1947 in Portland, Maine, making him age 74 at the time of this production. He stands at 1.93 meters or 6 feet 3 inches tall. His favorite books include Lord of the Flies by William Golding, Ship of Fools by Catherine Ann Porter, Blood Meridian by Cormac McCarthy, and Invisible Man by Ralph Ellison. He's a big fan of the Ramones and wrote the liner notes for their 2003 tribute album, We're a Happy Family. He is a hardcore Boston Red Sox fan. Stephen's favorite movies include The Autopsy of Jane Doe, Dawn of the Dead, Duel, Event Horizon, Final Destination, The Mist, The Ruins, and Sorcerer. In 2014, Forbes listed him number 82 on its list of Celebrity 100. King and his wife are major philanthropists. He donates about $4 million each year to libraries, schools, organizations that fund the arts, and local fire departments that need updated life-saving equipment such as the Jaws of Life. He told fellow author Neil Gaiman that if he had a chance to live his life all over again, he wouldn't change a thing, apart from appearing in an American Express advertisement. According to Guinness Superlatives, more of King's books have been adapted into films than any other living author. He suffers from triskaidekaphobia, fear of the number 13. King and his wife created the Stephen and Tabitha King Foundation, which ranks sixth among charities in Maine, with annual giving of more than $2.8 million per year. In the 2020 Democratic Party presidential primaries, King endorsed Elizabeth Warren's campaign. Warren eventually suspended her campaign, and King later endorsed Joe Biden's campaign in the 2020 general election. King married Tabitha Spruce on January 2, 1971. They have three children. Their daughter Naomi and her wife, Reverend Dr. Thandika, are both Unitarian Universalist church ministers living in Plantation, Florida. Both of the King's sons are authors. Owen King published We're All in This Together, a novella and stories in 2005. Joseph King, who writes under the name Joe Hole, published a collection of short stories, 20th Century Ghosts, in 2005, and a novel, Heart-Shaped Box, in 2007. A bit about grief and about the longing and the missing a, a partner. And you're right, I did almost die, and she did almost lose me. He was born to Donald Edwin King and Nellie Ruth King. His father left the family at a young age, and King's mother, Nellie Ruth, raised Stephen and his adopted brother, David, alone. The family moved to Wisconsin, Indiana, and Connecticut before finally settling down in Durham, Maine. When King was a child, he was with a friend when he was hit and killed by a train. The family told him that after leaving home to play with the boy, King returned speechless and in shock. The family found out about the boy's death later on that day. 
His mother took a job as a caregiver in a facility for the mentally ill when Stephen was 11 years old. King was interested in horror from a young age. Growing up, he loved to read EC horror comics, which published Tales from the Crypt. He started writing for fun as a kid. He sold his friends stories based on movies he'd seen. The first story King had published was called I Was a Teenage Grave Robber. Stephen attended Durham Elementary and Lisbon Falls High School in Lisbon Falls, Maine. King attended the University of Maine, where he earned a Bachelor of Arts degree in English. While in college, he wrote for the school newspaper. After graduating from college, King taught high school and sold short stories to men's magazines. In 1971, he was hired as a teacher at Hamden Academy in Maine. In 1973, King's novel Carrie was bought by Doubleday. This was the fourth novel King had written, but the first to be published. Carey set King's career in motion and became a significant novel in the horror genre. In 1976, it was made into a successful horror film starring Sissy Spacek. During the rest of the 1970s, King wrote Salem's Lot, The Shining, and The Stand. In the fall of 1977, King took a position teaching creative writing at the University of Maine. In 1982, he wrote Different Seasons, a collection of four dramatic novellas. This book is significant because three of the four novellas were turned into films, Stand By Me, The Shawshank Redemption, and Apt Pupil. In 2000, King published online a serialized horror novel, The Plant. In 2012, he published the novel called Dark Tower, The Wind Through the Keyhole. In 2018, he released the novel The Outsider. In 2019, he released the novel The Institute. In 2020, King released If It Bleeds, a collection of four previously unpublished novellas. You know, whatever it is, something chimes in you and you say, I found something that resonates with my soul. His books have sold more than 350 million copies worldwide, Stephen earned $35,000 from the sale of the story The Glass Floor in 1967. Later, in 1971, he earned $6,400 in annual salary as a teacher at Hamden Academy. The novel Carrie was published in 1973, which helped Stephen earn $400,000. Then, in 1996, he was paid $1.5 million for the rights to the novel titled Rose Matter. During 1999, King made nearly $40 million from his various novels. And from 2008 to 2013, this author made more than $130 million. King and his wife Tabitha own Zone Radio Corporation, a radio station group consisting of WZON 620 AM, WKIT-FM 100.3, and WZLO-FM 103.1. He has a net worth of $500 million. King and his wife own and divide their time between three homes, they have a Victorian home built in 1870 in Bangor, Maine, which was their main residence for years, but is now set to become a museum and writer's retreat. The house lies on roughly two acres of land and was built in an Italianette villa style. The property incorporates an attached barn with an indoor swimming pool, a three-car garage, and King's former writing studio at the rear of the house. The interior of the house features five bedrooms in six bathrooms and a total of 4,952 square feet. They also own a summer home in the lake region of Lowell, Maine, near the border of New Hampshire. The company also own a waterfront mansion on the Gulf of Mexico in Sarasota, Florida. King likely owns the following cars, a 1956 Plymouth Fury, a Dodge van, a 1953 Buick Roadmaster, a Mercedes,
a Cadillac Escalade.